Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. <clears throat> Bonjour. Clean more style. Good night. This is Musa. Matt Meacham Jr. signing in on Earth in the year 2024. The year that World War Three. It began. 2024, World War III. But I don't think the whole world is going to be destroyed. I think we're just going to have a lot of problems. People are going to be, it's, it's going to be period of war. Because everybody wants to fight. And they're figuring out all kinds of ways to fight. I know in the last broadcast, I indicated to my um, viewing audience that I would be dealing with I would be dealing with the the uh, word <clears throat> I would be dealing with the word ass. But I guess you are probably anticipating that I'm getting ready to say some very uh, vulgar, vulgar. <laughs> Dirty things. I'm not going to say anything dirty. I'm going to try to talk like a doctor. I'm going to try to talk like a scientist. You know, you know, as, as I have indicated to my audience, that when I come and do a broadcast, I don't have paper to talk on. I just start uh, running my mouth. And so uh, I, want, I, I think what I want to do first to let my... Uh, View and audience know where I stand in the world today. I think that I'm destined to be an online college dropout. Yes, I think that I'm. I'm you know, it's, it, 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 it's a it's a tragedy that you know I have to drop out of college. You know, I've been. In four, yes, I have been in four online universities. And, I, okay, the, the first university that I was in, I flunked out. <laughs> I flunked out. Okay, I flunked out of Liberty University in, in Lynchburg, Virginia. I flunked out. I mean, the, the, I mean, I was just told. I had flunked the whole course, everything. I just flunked. He said, you failed all your courses, so flunked out there. Then I went into another university, and I had all kind of issues there. And, I, and so I dropped out of one class, and one professor was telling me I should just, just drop out of school. So, so I dropped out of that. And now the last university that I was in, they asked me to, to withdraw. So, you know what? I'm just a college dropout. I'm not, I'm not going to pursue any more college education. I'm going to just take what I got and go with it. You know, um, I just love uh, learning about things. I just love that. So I guess you don't necessarily have to go to a university or something to learn about life. You know, a lot of people who do very well in life, they, they never went to a university. But, you know, I, I just got hung up on university. I just love the university atmosphere, the atmosphere where people are, are supposed to be learning about things. But I came, I came to terms with myself and I said, well, I just have to accept my destiny. 
I have to accept my fate. And my fate was to be a college dropout. My fate was to be not a person with a PhD in business. No, I would, I guess, I would never reach that goal. I guess I, I would never get a PhD in business. I, would, I probably wouldn't get a PhD in anything. I probably wouldn't could even, could even get a PhD in uh, home cooking. I just, I, I don't know. I guess I'm just not built to, I guess it was not destined for me to be a PhD scholar. You know, some people become PhD scholars and they don't know nothing. But I'm not a PhD scholar. I think I know quite a bit. And that's why I think I'll further my discussion on the ass. But let me show you something. I have a love for linguistics. And the thing is, in one of my books, I talk about the ah. You know, ah, a, ah, you know, ah, you know, we, uh, I'm getting ready to get into something deep. Yes, I am getting ready to get into something deep. I'm getting ready to talk about the beginning of language. Yes, the beginning of language. Okay, I'm, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm presently writing a book. And the thing is, I, uh, I said, this will be my last novel. And I said, this novel is going to be great. I got, I'm got i working on three books this year. One is a novel. And it's going to be, it's going to be a bestseller. Now, re remember, I told you that I was writing a bestseller. Now, watch. Before this year's over, I, you will see that I, I, I wrote a bestseller. And then I'm going to write another book, Outer Space Venture. Then I'm going to write another book about just talking. And all three of these books are going to do good. They're going to be, they're going to go because I'm going to really put my head into it. Now, I've written books on linguistics and I, what I, uh, what, 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 in one of my books, I'm dealing with the origins of language. When did, when did man begin to talk? What was the stimuli? It caused man to talk. And then there's another thing that I deal with in my writings. I deal with the oral cavity. In one, in the book that I'm working on, I, 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 maybe I'll give some of you want to be writing some ideas, but I'm writing my book, the novel that I'm writing. Basically, I'm saying in the, in the book that the mass, the oral cavity, that which we speak with is the most vicious weapon that was created by God. Look at the things that we say with our mouths. Look how we hate people with the things that come out of, out of our mouths. So what I'm dealing with in, in, in this novel that I, I that I'm I, I will this will be a bestseller for real. It talks about the oral cavity, the mouth, and how it causes more harm on Earth than an atomic bomb. I know yesterday in my previous discussion. I said that I would talk about ass. Now, one thing about ass is that ass, it begins with the alphabet. Okay, in English, in English. In English, ass begins with the alphabet A. A is the first alphabet of the English alphabet. Allah, 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 a name for God. It starts with the alphabet A, A, A. 
Where am I going? I'm saying, I'm talking about what was the most simplest, what was the simplest thing that a human being could say? Um, basically, my theory is the whole uh, background of language came from the expression, ah. When the baby is born, boom, the baby is slapped. And the first thing that comes out of the baby's mouth is, ah, ah. Yes. I talk about things like that. The ah sound. A. It's not, not all of the, begin, uh, the alphabets in all of the languages uh, begin with the ah, the A sound. But there are other languages that, it, that the ah is not the first letter of the alphabet. But I, I, I deal with issues like that in my books when I in my books of linguistics, about the ah sound. Ah. And the baby cries, ah. And certain other things happen, and we say, ah. ah. I'm talking about the ah sound. Okay. Well, since I'm talking about the ah sound, we, we, we will get back to the ah sound in my future lectures. And, you know, I think there are going to be a, quite a few because I'm going to go from R ah all the way to Z. But that's just the English alphabet. R ah, all the way to Z. I would discuss those different sounds, those different alphabets that come from the mouths of men. But my lecture is supposed to be about Ass. So we'll talk about as today or these moments. And as we go through your lessons that I will give to you in <laughs> language, free lessons, you're not paying one penny, but I'm going to give you some lessons in languages. And we first are going to start with ah. But some questions. These are questions. Okay, before we go with, before we start our discussion in ah, you know, as in as, as in uh, and, and as the baby say ah, I want to talk about a few other things, especially about the anatomy. Okay, now, that's another thing about the anatomy that I'm going to talk about. Yeah. I won't talk about it today. I would talk about it at a later time. But let's let's get back to the R sound. Let's get to S. S. Okay. Eventually, and it may even happen in this discussion. I may start. I may talk about the mouth. And okay, the mouth and the ass. I may I may even go into the mouth in this discussion. I don't know that because like I as I indicated to my my my, 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 my viewing audience, I just start talking. I just look in front of this computer and start talking. So I may come back to the mouth part of the anatomy. But I think I will be able to deal with the mouth. And the ass, we may be able to deal with both of those at both of those at the same time. But let's get back to the ass. Okay, let's look at that. Basically in mammals. But we okay, we know mammals, but we know human beings. All of us, you know, if we're not from outer space or somewhere, we basically know the anatomy of the human body. You know, we know we eat with our mouth and we and we uh, defecate with our anuses. Even anuses, ass, anuses, and we're still talking about the same thing. Uh, okay. What is the ass? Why is there an 
fast. I'm sure in, when you study all the different types of animals that exist, even on Earth, I, there are probably some animals, maybe my, my microbes, uh, my, uh, uh, you know, organisms, small, they, they, they may, I don't know, but I think, I bet there are some living creatures who do not have asses, you know, asses. My concern, my discussion is about the asses of the human being. Monkeys got asses. Dogs got asses. You know, we could, we, okay, if we said ass, if I said, look at that dog's ass, we would know, okay, basically, we would understand to look at the back end of that dog, that's the dog's ass. Or the same as a cat or a tiger or, an, or a mammal. If we, we, we the, the first thing we say ass and we are thinking of a uh, biological entity, we look at the back end of that biological entity. And usually in that biological in that biological part of that mammal, we have what we call ex 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 excrements. In other words, in the majority of, of all mammals, waste products come out of the anus. And perhaps the reason why I guess now that I'm even even now as I give this lecture, I can see why the anus eventually became the ass. Because if you said anus, and all you do is take the in you out of anus and you get ass. And maybe that's how the uh the the back part the glutus, the glutal, okay, the glutamus, the glutamus maximus, the glutal max. That's probably what I keep, every time I try to get into a university, that's why I probably keep getting kicked out. I can't even say glutus, glutamus maximus. I think that's how you say as the sophisticated way, glutamus maximus. Well, you know that back part of the human being. Well, we know this is what happens. We have to have to ask ourselves, why? Was the okay? I'm gonna make it. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not talking about anything else but the human being. I'm not talking about elephants. I'm not gonna talk about dogs and cats. I'm talking about. I'm not even talking about apes or gorillas. I'm talking about the human being, you and I. Okay. Let's look at the human anatomy. Why is there an yes? The reason why there is an ass is so that the human body can get rid of harmful materials, to get rid of waste out of the body. It's a way, it, it, okay, in other words, it's the end point. It's the end point of the cleansing of the body. And, and, in, and in cleaning the body, all of these uh, bad things that are in the body comes out of the ass. We call it, um, uh, well, some people call it doo doo, and some people call it shit. Defecation, poop, there are all kinds of names that that stuff, you know, that comes out of the anus, which we call the ass. Now, one of the things that come out of that, when you really look at the anatomy of the human body, one, I think, if one has any sense of maturity, let's say if you're like 10 years old, by then, a person who's about 10 years old, when he sees what come out the ass, he knows that it's, it's like nasty. The ass represent nasty stuff. 
that's where the ass is where the waste come out of the body. And the, and the reason why the ass was designed, it was designed so that these negative microbes, these bad things in the body can get out. They are pushed out of the ass hole. So the ass, when we look at it, you know, from the stand of food digestion, from a biological sense, the ass is used to get rid of filthy, unusual, unusable, dirty, nasty things. It's a way to, for these things to pass out of the body. If that's a disease, I think it's called cholera. You know, you know, uh, where you know you you go out into uh, these parts of the, uh, in, in the un undeveloped parts of the world where people go swimming and they go swimming and they do their ex the excrements. In other words, they, they allow the these things, these filthy things, to come out of their bodies in the water, and, they, and then there's a, a disease called cholera, and it kills people. So whatever comes out of the ass, more is it, 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 it's, it's the, the only the major purpose of that stuff that comes out of the ass is to be destroyed. We flush it down the toilet. We we let it out on the earth and we cover it up because it's filth, it's dirty, it's nasty. That's what the ass is used for. I mean, that's what I, well, it's not, the ass is used for many things in this world today. But the design, the, the reason, the design of the ass is for the elimination of harmful prop things in the body. The ass, I don't think that anything supposed to go Inside of the ass. Okay, I don't think anything supposed to go inside of the ass, whether it's a female's ass or whether it's a male ass. It's just that whole act of putting. Okay, okay, that's, okay. Two women. The most that one woman could do is okay. You got two women. The most that two women can do to each other's ass. Okay, if we, this woman, she sticks, that's all she can do. She can stick her finger in the other woman's ass, and the other woman can stick her finger in the other woman's ass. That's the most I can do. But you know, but if, let's look at the diameter of a finger. The diameter of a finger, okay, okay, when, okay, when you wipe your ass, you probably have to use your finger. So let's look at the asshole. It's, only so much that can go inside the ass is, not, is only designed for a small. Okay, okay. If you're living in the jungle, you probably use leaves to wipe your ass. But if you live in, in, in like in, in a modern place, you probably use tissue to wash your ass. So you get the tissue and you wash your ass. But try and stick it your whole hand in, 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 in your ass. It's, it's, that's a hard thing to do. Try and stick it your whole hand in your ass. Or try sticking your half of your hand into your whole ass. Goodness. What, 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 what could happen there? See, the, the ass is not designed where you're supposed to stick something in it like a, a fist, you know. Like if you're trying to stick a fist in an ass, I mean, that's a lot of pressure. I guess some people can do that. But the thing is, look at what you're doing to the ass. You, you're really hurting it. See, the ass is, is, is designed so that things go out of it. 
It's not designed so that things go in it. And that's the issue that we have today. You have the issue where the human being fails to realize that the ass is a part of the digestive system and its purpose is to eliminate waste from the body. And any other, okay, any other thing that you do to that ass is a violation of that ass. So, that's just part one of my discussion on the ass. But I'm going to discuss linguistics. If, I must confess to you that I'm a college dropout. I must confess to you that I have been, I have flunked out of business school and every university in my country. They don't think that I'm intelligent. So you have to use your own senses. Yes, I, I am, I am, as of today, I am an official college dropout. I'm not going to go back to school. No, I am not going back to school. I'm getting ready to relax. This is Wusa, Matt Beecham Jr. Signing out on oh.